Hi everyone, welcome back for more Let's Play Professor Layton and the Diabolical Box. We're done in here now that he's given us a fake ghost of a puzzle. And walk back this way. Get the same talk here. The bulldog is still blocking our path. And we need to know how to get through. Need to make friends with the bulldog, apparently. But we don't know how. Actually, I think we can look at something in here. Maybe not. Our friend the Bulldog seems to have changed his temperament since we last met. Looks like he's really hungry, Professor. I think he'll let us pass if we bring him a snack. Very well. I seem to remember Grocher, a grocer, beneath the wash tower. I'm sure we can find a suitable snack for a friend there. So yeah, we're going to go back to garlic-laden grocers. Eventually. And yeah, I know you're still thirsty. I know you're thirsty. Let's go into the grocery. See if you have anything new for us. We need something from you. Hello there, gents. How can I help you today? We're in desperate need of food for a hungry dog. Do you have anything that fits the bill? Well, that's the most interesting request I've heard all day. I don't have any kibble or the like, but this leftover be beef shake might ought to make Rover sit up and beg. That should do nicely. Would you mind parting with it? Not really, but I hope your dog likes garlic. I'm sure that won't be a problem. Good, good. And I won't charge you for it. But would you mind solving this puzzle I got here? I've been chewing it over for days and I'm starting to lose sleep. Number 74. P.U. Worth 30 points. Garlic is a wonderful seasoning when used in moderation, but the smell can be pretty potent. Someone put garlic cloves in this intricate container, and they're really stinking up the room. Use the two corks below to help our friend deal with the smell. Touch an opening to put a cork in it. You can use no more than two corks. Well, this is a trick question, believe it or not. If you actually follow all of these individual paths down, you would think that maybe one garlic bulb was attached to one, one garlic bulb was attached to the other, and the flowers were attached to a third one. But let's take a quick look at this here. And it comes up here and it splits. And splits again, we'll keep to the top here. And it splits again, we will once again stay near the top. And it went back to its original spot there, so let's see. And, yeah, here was some of the other splits. Do you notice that? The flower is self-contained. It leads to none of these, uh, it leads to none of these openings. Conversely, the garlic leads to all three. There's no way to actually plug up all three of those. There's no way to plug up all three of those with the two corks. So you want to know where the two corks are going to go? Right there. And to actually let you do this. He gets to plug up his nose. Just leave it to me. Piece of cake. See? Easy enough, huh? You gotta be a real garlic lover like me to solve that one. Here, you work for this beef shank, so it's all yours. And we got a bone-in roast. 
We also got Joy Root Clover. Guess what we're going to do now? Besides, you know, going back to the dog and tossing him bone. We're going to work with the tea set. Create a couple new blends of tea. Well, let's see what I need. I need... Uh, which one is it? Okay, we need that. Then we need that. And some joy root clover. The Radiance Blend. Mmm, now this smells nice. Indeed, there's something about the aroma of this tea that's quite soothing. You hit that one on the head, Professor. I think it's making me sleepy. <sighs> I suppose that's further proof of its relaxing effect. It does seem... <sighs> rather potent, eh? And then one more. Well, let's see, I think we put these three together. Cayenne Twilight. Ah, just take in that aroma. It's incredibly relaxing. Kind of makes you forget all your troubles for a minute, eh, Professor? I must confess, this is rather nice. It's like the tea drove all the weariness from me. Wow, all that with just a couple of sips? A good cup of herb tea can... What the good a cup of herb tea can do never fails to amaze me. So, strangely enough, we've now got two more blends. Will we be able to help out the people we've seen that's thirsty? Eh, who knows. But what I do know is there's a puzzle right there. Whoa! All this garlic is starting to make my head spin. Well, we can't have that. A brisk puzzle is just the thing you need to refresh the mind, Luke. And we appear to be in luck. I think I see a good puzzle right here. Number 98, Jars and Cans 1. Worth 25 points. And yep, this is not the only one of its kind. That's the one. A long line of jars and cans sits on the counter. Your job is to rearrange these items so that both jars and cans are grouped with items of the same type. I must add some of that tea. However, in doing so, you must always move two containers at once. Move items around by touching the red icon between two containers and dragging the selected pair of items with your stylus. And this looks somewhat confusing, but in essence, this can be done in about three moves, I think. Four moves. I think it can be done. Four moves total, if I'm not mistaken. So we go here. Oh, let's see. Then move that there. Then we can move this over here. And then there. This should do the trick. It doesn't matter how and many times it doesn't matter how many moves you have to have to make, but easy enough. Well, what do you think, Professor? Pretty good, right? Even so, I don't think my, I don't think that puzzle was enough to take my mind off the smell. So we're done in here. Okay, and then I think we need to go here. No, wait, I went the wrong way. I went the wrong way. I need to go back down. Before I went that way. Nope, still can't help you. And nice big smiling man there. But let's give the bulldog his food. Here's our chance, Luke. Toss him that beef shank. I'm already on it. Here goes. Oh. <laughs> and doggy is happy. I think our little offering did the trick. Oof, oof. I don't think this puppy's going to be doing any snarling anytime soon. 
we can finally explore the rest of the town now. Easy enough, huh? <sighs> so now let's see what Smiling Jack here has to say. You're gonna wear your souls out if you keep running around like that, fellas. Rest your feet for a minute while you solve this puzzle of mine. Number 113, a stack of dice, worth 30 points. You've stacked three dice in the column. At the points where two dice touch, the faces are touching add up to five. If one visible face of the bottom die is showing a one, what number must be on the top face of the top die? In case you're wondering, each die is identical, and all sets of opposing faces on the die always add up to seven. Now, let's do this the easy way. If you have dice that add up, there are only, there are only two solutions that can give you a five. Noth a four and a one, and a two and a three. No other solution will add up to five. So, if there's a three, if there's a two and a three here, that would mean there were, <clears throat> If there's a 2 and a 3 here, and then something has to equal 5, that means we have to have a 1 and a 4. Correct? Correct. So let's see. On this side has to be the 1 and the 4, but which is the 1 and which is the 4? More importantly, which is the 2 and the 3? Well, if you look, since two of these die faces are on the same die, then and they're opposing each other, so they have to add up to 7. That must mean on top of this die is a 2, which means a 3 is underneath it, which means a cross from the 3 is a 4, and a 1 is underneath that, so a 6 must be on the top side of the dice. Fairly simple in my head, but I doubt I explained it very well. Hopefully the next screen will explain it much, much better than me. My city. And there we have it. I don't think that explained it any better. I really don't. You're no slouch at this. So what's the story? What do you think you're going to find here in Folsons? I don't mean to sound ominous, but there are truths best left buried. You get me? And a new hamster toy. Once again, we'll never use it. So anyway, now that we've actually got access to this new area, let's go take a peek. Because it's been a while since I've gotten hint coins. Much less a photo scrap that's sitting there doing nothing. So let's see. Yep, there's one. Uh, I think here's... Yep, there's a second one. Uh, some more over here. No. Okay, there it is. One of those little cracks in the wall there. So now, let's grab this. Something we've been looking for everywhere. Say, Professor, could that be... a piece of the photograph? I'd say so. Sharp eyes, Luke. I'll place it in my trunk for safekeeping. You've been carrying your trunk around the whole time? Good lord. So now we need to talk to you. I don't like to brag, but I make the best pancakes you've ever tasted. Guaranteed. The thing is, while the flavor is out of this world, I have trouble getting the size consistent. Serving them can be such a pain, because you need to stack them just so. Here, I'll show you. Number 83, Pancake Stacks 2. We're 30 points, and it's time for another Tower of Hanoi puzzle. This one's going to take a little bit longer. Now here's a tasty puzzle for you. Your task is to take that big stack of pancakes on the left plate and move them to the plate on the far right. And I'm going to yawn. Uh. In doing so, however, you need to follow these rules. You can only move one pancake at a time. A pancake can never rest on another pancake smaller than itself. Feel free to shift things around as much as you like and use the middle plate in completing the puzzle. Well, let's see if I can remember this. There. There. 
there. Then you go here. You go here. And the middle. And that here. And that here. And that there. And that there. And done. This should do the trick. Ha! Huh, wonderful. Wow, your hands move so fast there. It looked like you were juggling those flapjacks. Next time I throw pancakes on the griddle. You're welcome to a heaping helping up. And once again, new hamster toy that we will never use. Because we are done with that puzzle. And this marks a good stopping point. Next time, we keep looking, we get to look through more new areas, find more new hint coins, and find new photograph scraps. And a few puzzles. So, talk to you then, folks. Take care. See you later.